Hey everybody, fucking uh, D&D update for Psycho Lord's game. Also got another one for CJ's game. I'm going to try getting them both taped tonight. So, where we last left off, we were being chased out of a abandoned drow city by a basically living embodiment of madness from beyond time and space so you know normal day really so we decided to uh capture the drow who were who escaped alongside us basically ask to act as uh guard uh not guards uh guides because uh they you know they know this particular part of the underdark better than we do and yeah, so, you know, pretty much just that. And it did turn out they actually did know where we needed to go. Only problem was, the only path they knew took us right through a drider maze. And if you don't know what a drider is, they are basically drow who have, through one way or another, fucked up and have been turned into... These weird, uh, half spider things. So, they are not very pleasant creatures to fight. So, as always, Lundy goes in first and gets beat the fuck down. I mean, it's, it's brutal. It really is. Like, the beat down Lundy gets during this shit is ma is is fucking monstrous. It really is. And and like everybody gets beat down really cuz like two of the driders fucking come up into the area where the rest of the party was and they lightning bolt us. Thankfully though we got um we got a very fortunate strain of good hits. So they got taken out relatively quickly. Not before they, you know, almost killed Lundy and, you know, did a fair amount of damage to the rest of the party. But we managed to take him down. And we got some, we got some okay-ish loot from them. Uh, we rested. <laughs> we rested like... A bajillion times this game. Like, five, walk five feet, rest. Walk five feet, rest. Walk five feet, rest. I was hoping that would have kind of stopped with, you know, me taking over the healing duties for Anna, but not really, because, like, fucking witches do not get that many spells per day. So, hopefully I fix that, though, because once we actually did everything with this adventure, I built me a fucking wand of moderate wounds, so that should fucking help me, really, in the healing department, so I won't have to waste every single goddamn fucking spell slot I have to fucking heal these fuckers. So anyways, we, we, tr we... We rest, and during the night, or day, or whatever it is we're resting, because we don't know we're under fucking ground, uh, we hear some rumbling, like the magnum, the magnum dragon pass fucking pretty fucking close to us, and, but, uh, thankfully it didn't pass close enough to sense us or anything, so it just kind of was walking around, so we decide to head on down. And Jillian, she almost falls to her death, but thankfully I'm there and Queenie's there and together we stop her from falling. But not before she managed to knock a pretty big chunk of rock loose. And that rock falls and falls and falls and we hear a thud and then we hear a growl. And then up flies a fucking magma, magma dragon, which proceeds, well, I fucking try to lightning bolt it. 
and the lightning bolt just bounces off of it because of its spell resistance. And it's like, well, I'm out of ideas, gentlemen, and it breathes fucking, like, boiling hot fucking lava on us, and <sighs> that fucking hurt. So, we take off running. It's It's trying to claw the walls to get to us. So we're running, we're running, and then we finally make it down to kind of like the bottom area of it, like kind of like you remember the the place in uh, the uh, Gor- uh, Goron Mines in Ocarina of Time, like it's kind of like that, like where you fought the big two legged dinosaur king uh, Darugo or whatever his fucking name was. So. <laughs> So, uh, half the party gets invisible. I think it's, uh, Queenie, Lundy, and Brianna. While, uh, while Lundy, I make Lundy smell like a female magma dragon in heat to basically distract the magma dragon. So, it fucking comes down, and boy fucking... I mean, it gave us a beating. We gave it a beating. This was a pretty big fuck off fight. I mean, so Lundy fucking starts out, jumps up on its fucking back, and manages to dislocate its fucking wing, so it couldn't fly. Uh, Queenie gets a really fucking good hit in. Fucking Darth gets a fucking massive hit in. Jillian gets a good hit in. The only one who really, surprisingly so, did not get a good hit in, until the very end, was Brianna. Brianna got the kill shot in. Well, she got the almost kill shot in. She managed to get it down to like 4 HP. And then Lundy got the kill shot in, but like... Yeah, other than that one attack, Brianna's like, she... She kept missing with the dragon. I got a really good shot in with a ray of enfeeblement. Because even though he still saved, I still managed to drain 8 points of fucking strength from him. So that's a pretty big number. Also, I did a pretty cool noble sacrifice because um, Jillian... The dragon fucking breathed lava once more, and it was about to hit, like, everybody, including Jillian, who did not make her save. I made my save, so I was like, can I sacrifice my save to save Jillian? To, like, to fucking take the blast instead of her? And I did, and it knocked me down to negative 11. And at negative... Negative 12 is when I die. So, I was one point away from death. So, we finally take the dragon down. We uh, we gut it. And we find all sorts of nice fucking nifty treasure. Including the spindle, which we had looked for. So we start hitting back up. And honestly, I'm trying to remember. I like, did we get into another fight? I don't think we did. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we did. We did. We did get into another fight. The ooze. So we're coming up and we kind of notice like there's like this area of the tunnel that's like more dark than it should be so I cast like daylight and it's fucking it's still dark so it's like that's not normal so once again Lundy decides to walk up and investigate and this thing starts fucking trying to make him into a Japanese tentacle porn movie like it's It's burning him. It's burning his shit. Like, 
his ronk mobe his 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 ronk his monk robe almost gets burnt up. His fucking gauntlets almost get burnt up. Like so basically what we're fighting is a black pudding. And for my uh fans over in the UK, not that kind of black pudding. No, this one is more insidious and disgusting than you could even possibly imagine. It's basically think a giant living acidic snot boogie. So we we fight it and uh we manage to get it down. And we finally manage to fucking get up to the surface. But lo and behold, there are a hundred pikemen waiting there for us. And that's not the only thing waiting there for us. Because the person, or more accurate, the abomination leading the pikemen was a night gaunt. And if you don't know what a night gaunt is, you really need to brush up on your Cthulhu mythos. So, this Night Gaunt is basically, it basically tells us uh, his liege, the uh, King in Yellow, Hastor, had received information that their group was busy trying to help uh, the rebels, the uh, Dark Elves. So, and it didn't help us that we happened to have three Dark Elves with us. So while he's talking, I'm I'm basically whispering to Brianna. I'm like, use your ring of message to fucking contact Jillicard now. So she does, Jillicard comes and he's he's just like, get out of here or I will start fucking killing things. So he does and like fucking we teleport back and we We've done a good job. We get a fucking shit ton of gold. Like, oh man, I get so much gold. Like, I've, I've like, I've gone on a fucking like shopping spree. I bought a church. I'm gonna buy a printing press. It's gonna be great. And I got some more money from fucking my dear friend Kalins and fucking, well, I got a lot of money from Kalins because I. Technically, that 1,000 fucking Brianna gave me came from fucking Kalins. So, let me tell you about this fucking clusterfuck that went on after the game. So, I mean, technically it happened during the game, but this was like after we had fought the dragon. Oh yeah, I took the dragon's penis. I forgot that. That's like important, because like everybody else was taking pieces of the fucking dragon, and I was like... I felt left out. I was like, I want to take something. So, like, nobody called, like, I'm going to take the dragon's penis. So, I took the dragon's penis. Like, I don't know. I bet I can make aphrodisiacs out of it or something. Or maybe, like, some kind of weird, get it laminated, make a statue or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, so at Brianna's house... They start divvying up the the drow we get. So, Volundial gets one because she wants to kind of give her a new life on the surface world a bit. Brianna gets one because she's Brianna and she wants to do horrible, unspeakable fucking things to it. And Kalence gets one because Kalence, Kalence is... Seriously, like the little fucking kid who brings animals home to their parents all the time. It's like, can we keep it? Like, every fucking thing he comes across, he's like, I want to keep this. I want to keep this. I want to keep this. It's like, it's like, 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 no more followers. Like, no. It's, it's like, I, like, I'm, t- oh, God, I wish I was playing evil again because, like, I would just start killing shit. So Kalins couldn't fucking take it as a follower. Just just out of fucking spite for him. But what happens is Kalins got a little bit too greedy. And he wanted a second drow slave for him. So what proceeds 
can only be described as a slave auction. Pete, him and Lundy get into a massive bidding war over the, the this fucking drought. Like, it gets to a fucking point of convolutedness. Like, at one point, the drought even goes, like, I'm not worth this much, guys. Like, seriously. So, so they're doing this, and fucking... I decide, like, hey, you know what? Rasputin's bored. He's gonna go out and just... he's Since Rasputin has, like, the uh, minor healing hex, like, I've just decided he's just gonna be going around healing random people on the street. Like, he can heal a person once per day for free. So, fuck it, he's gonna be using that. So... While he was doing that, he happened to stumble into Anna, and he was like, Hey, you know your, your like, boyfriend-type person, kind of, like, I don't know, Vasir, you know that guy? Like, he's in the middle of a slave auction, like, right over there, at Brianna's house, and that gets fucking, that gets Anna pissed off, so... She goes rushing over there and fucking, she starts fucking flipping shit on Lundy. And I'm like, oh, I know how to end this solution, this, this hubbub. Because like one of the items we found on our adventure was a, an item called an, an Inquisitioner's Monocle, which gives you the ability to cast Zone of Truth once per day as a spell. And it's like, if there's one spell you do not want a character of mine to have, it's fucking Zone of Truth. And so, I cast Zone of Truth and I start fucking them over. But, the really bad thing comes in is when I notice Jillian's there. And I'm like, Hey, wait a second. Is that Jillian? Because, like, I kind of remember something about Jillicard being a slave. And as I say that, Jillicard appears over here and he's like, I'm going to fireball each and every one of you fucking cocksuckers. So, you know, he's he's fucking pissed at us now because, like, everybody decided to have, like, a fucking slave auction after the adventure. And, like, seriously... It wasn't me for once. I'm fucking, my hands are clean on this and clean in this shit. It's fucking, you know, it's Lundy and Cadence. And to a lesser extent, Queenie, because she did have her her drow brainwashed or whatever. But like, you know, seeing the worldview of the drow already, like that's kind of debatable, like whether or not that was an evil thing. But like, what Lundy and fucking Kalins were doing was a slave auction, and slavery is pretty fucking evil. Like, that's pretty... I mean, they don't say it so much in the books, but, like, it's it's definitely considered an evil act, slavery is. So, like... So, yeah, that's, like, fucking our party. Even without El Shay, our party is still just shit. It really is. We are not fucking heroes. Like, this game really... Like, it, it fucking is. It is the villain game. Like, that. that that is it. We're, just, we're villains. Yeah, we're not fucking burning down towns and, and, you know, ruining people and shit. But, like, we're not that fucking heroic. Are you kidding me? Like, we have done not one heroic fucking thing ever. None. Took us right through a drider maze. And if you don't know what a drider is, they are basically drow who have through one way or another fucked up and have been turned into these weird uh, half spider things. So they are not very pleasant creatures to fight. So, as always, Lundy goes in first and gets beat the fuck down. I mean, it's 
It's brutal. It really is. Like, the beat down Lundy get. Hey, everybody. Fucking uh, D&D update for Psycho Lord's game. Also got another one for CJ's game. I'm going to try getting them both taped tonight. So, where we last left off, we were being chased out of a abandoned drow city by a... Because uh, they... You know, they know this particular part of the Underdark better than we do. And, yeah, it's a, you know, pretty much just that. And it did turn out they actually did know where we needed to go. Only problem was, the only path they knew to basically live an embodiment of madness from beyond time and space. So, you know, normal day, really. So we decided to uh, capture the drow who were, who escaped alongside us. Basically asked to act as uh, guard, uh, not guards, uh, guides. 